Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial about GPU accelerated analytics and machine learning. Today I will introduce you to Rapids, a collection of Python libraries created by NVIDIA to accelerate your machine learning. And I will give you also a practical example on how to get you started. GPU acceleration is nowadays becoming more and more important. There are two main reasons for this. The world's amount of data is doubling every year and more slow is now coming to an end because of the elimination imposed by the quantum realm. In the past, I've been proposed many solutions to solve this problem, such as MapReduce, Hadoop, and Spark. Rapids is now designed to be the next evolutionary step in data preprocessing, thus thanks to its Apache Arrow in-memory format optimization. Because of that, Rapids can lead up up to 50% speed improvement compared to Spark in-memory preprocessing. Rapids is composed by three main libraries, QDF, QML, and QGraph. QDF is used to perform data preprocessing tasks and resemble quite closely pandas. QML instead resembles quite closely sklearn and is used for creating machine learning models. Finally, QGraph is used to perform graphing tasks, which is, are used for example in graph theory. I will now walk you through a practical example of how to use Rapids. In this case, I will be using Google Collaboratory. And if you are interested in te testing out yourself the code, the, a link is available in the description. In order to work with Rapids, we need first of all to make sure that uh, the environment they're working with uh, has GPU support. Therefore, we go to Runtime, we select Change run Runtime Type, and then we select GPU. After that, we can then run the first few cells of this notebook to check that uh, the GPU we got assigned from Google Colab is a test strategy for it. We can then go on installing all the required dependencies. I decided to divide this notebook in three main examples. In the first two, I will perform classification, and in the third one, I will perform a regression. For the first example, I will analyze the Pima Indian dataset using both Rapids and SQLearn and Pandas. Using Rapids, I will make use of QDF and QML, respectively for preprocessing and machine learning. Using QDF and QML, it was possible to register an accuracy of about 75.9%. Instead, using Pandas and sklearn was to register an accuracy of 75.3%. For the second example, I decided to use just Pandas for processing and to create myself a dataset. This dataset was designed to be of way bigger dimensions compared to the first one. In this case, I decided to record the training time using both Rapids and sklearn. Using Rapids, it took just about under two minutes to train our model. Instead, using sklearn, it took 11 minutes, which is about six times slower than Rapids. Finally, for my third example, I decided to consider a regression case. Also in this occasion, using Rapids led to the same accuracy results than sklearn, while still taking less time for training. Finally, I decided to add other two examples as part of reading. These two examples are linked to other two Google Colab notebooks. In the first one, you will learn about using QGraph another Rapids library, which is used to create graph neural networks. Graph neural networks are used, for example, in social networks, recommendation systems, and even life science. If you want to find out more, just click on the link in the description. Lastly, in example number six is considered Dusk Rapids library, which is used for parallelized computing. This can be really useful, especially if you're working with huge amount of data and you need to distribute it between different clusters. So far in this tutorial, I explain you how to speed up your machine learning using Rapids. If instead you are also interested in uh, how to make the most out of your memory while training a deep learning model, I wrote another article called Deep Learning Analysis Using Large Model Support. Large Model Support is a library created by IBM to optimize the memory consumption while training deep learning models. This is done by rewriting neural networks compositional graphs and optimizing how the tensors are swapped between the CPU and GPU while training a neural network model. In this notebook, I provided a guide of how to install the large model support. And then I also gave an example to show how to use large model support in Keras. Also in this case, I decided to create myself a dataset using gas distributions. Then I create a function to preprocess the data. And finally, I start using machine learning using both Keras and Keras plus large model support. As we can see from here, using large model support led to a decrease in memory consumption and additionally also to a slight increase in accuracy compared to just using Keras. 
Large model support can therefore be particularly important, especially if you're working with a large amount of data or if we have available different types of GPUs.